Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So since the holiday season is right around the corner, literally I believe Thanksgiving is 16 days away from the day that I'm filming this, um, and it's crazy. Like, holiday season is always super fun, but always kind of stressful, and lots of traveling is happening. So I thought I'd film a video today about what to expect and some tips and tricks that I have for flying with a baby. So um, for those of you who don't know, I have a four month old daughter and her name is Zara and I have traveled with her on an airplane now several times and plan to for both Thanksgiving and Christmas. I also have experience with flying with young children as well since I nannied when I, while I was living in Denver, Colorado. So if you guys are interested in my experiences and my tips that I have for you guys, then go ahead and keep watching. To first start off, I want to stress that I am a very organized, kind of OCD type of individual. So for me, it is crucial, and I feel like it's crucial for really anyone traveling with an infant or toddler or any children of some sort to be organized. It, If you are organized from the start, things go a lot more smoother. And another thing is I believe that less is more. So bringing less items is going to help you stay organized and just, like I said, make the whole trip a whole lot smoother. So what I like to do is I typically either fly morning or an evening flight. And so with that, I like to prep before. So I'm either prepping my diaper bag or the bag that I'm going to be bringing with me for all of my daughter's things. Either I'm prepping that the night before or I'm prepping that like the day of. So I'm going to insert a clip here of kind of what my diaper bag looks like um, and what I like to keep in it, how I keep organized and things like that that I think will be really helpful for you guys. Okay, so this is the diaper bag that I'm currently using. It is by the brand Azaria. You can find them on Instagram. It's kind of like a fawn design bag, but honestly, I would say it's better. I'm going to do a diaper bag review for you guys on this bag and go in a bit more detail of the features that it has, but for now, I'm just going to show you what I keep on the inside of my diaper bag for when I am traveling. This is the bag opened. As you can see, I like to keep my Solly baby wrap um, here on top, and I like to use this at the airport. I'll go into more detail when um, later on in the video. And then here's the inside. I always keep a Wubbana because this is Zara's favorite type of pacifier. I have a swaddle blanket. So this swaddle is specifically by Little Unicorn. I did a Little Unicorn swaddle review video. It was actually my very first video I ever posted here on YouTube. So if you want more information on these and more of a full review, take um, you can go and check that out. And then I have my nursing cover and this is by Copper and Pearl. I love this for the airport for nursing specifically on the airplane. I have toys in here. I have a little rattle since Zara is one to now need to be entertained with physical objects rather than just my face. So a little rattle and then her favorite little books. This is from Walmart and the rattle is from I want to say it's from Soul Boutique in Provo, Utah. And then I like to keep some sort of extra clothing. And so, but for the airport, I like to bring um, pajamas. So these are just the pajamas I threw in here. And these ones are from um, Baby Gap. So I will keep those. And I like to keep them in this little pocket here, keep everything accessible and in order of when I will use it. So as you noticed, I put the um, nursing cover at the bottom, then the muslin swaddle, and then the Solly baby wrap. I always have a good solid bag of wipes um, that I know I, will last me a day. And then I like to keep six to seven diapers in here for just in case. I then have this little bag. This little bag is from Old Navy actually. I love it. It's super nice to, to hold on to um, 
pacifier so I have an extra pacifier in here I have and then kind of just nursing essentials I have like extra breast pads in here and nipple cream and just kind of other miscellaneous things I think I have ibuprofen in here as well then in this little flap I have a changing pad for the nasty bathrooms for the airport and I always keep in here um, a little hand sanitizer it's by honest company and then in this little bag is just my um, my things like wallet sunglasses pen things like that there's this nice pocket here on the back and this is where I like to keep like my tickets the birth certificate and I'll keep my ID in here so it's easily accessible I can just kind of swing the backpack off um, this is a backpack styled um, diaper diaper bag with also a crossbody attachment but I like to keep my documents in here because I feel like no one can get into them no one would know that they're in there but also it's easily accessible and they can lay flat by the way um, this diaper bag also can fit a laptop in here with all of these things in here um, I have done it before and I have a 15 inch Mac laptop and it worked really well. Once the diaper bag is ready to go and we are on our way to the airport, we arrive at the airport, I immediately take my daughter out of her car seat and I put her in the Solly baby wrap carrier. So this is just the carrier that I personally prefer. I like how lightweight it is. I, It's really comfortable for Zara and I also like it because I can keep it in my diaper bag. It's not super bulky. It's not like taking up a ton of space I can just roll it up in a little ball throw it in my diaper bag and it doesn't take up that much room and um, so I will immediately put her in that whether or not I am bringing my car seat and stroller um, this is just really helpful I have found for when I go through security so I put my daughter in this so that's my tip number one and it just kind of helps to keep both hands free at all times so if you decide that you're bringing your car seat and stroller then just be aware that you'll either want to check that at the gate or they'll check your car seat at check-in so no matter what if you're flying with an infant or a lap child you will have to check in at the ticketing counter because you need to bring proof of identification that your child is under the age of two. So that can either be a passport or birth certificate. I typically just bring Zara's birth certificate since we don't have a passport for her quite yet. So I'll bring that and that's where I keep that in the diaper bag in a safe place and in the same place every time so I do not lose it. Now, just so you're aware, you will not need your birth certificate or passport for your child after the ticketing counter. You won't need that for security, just as a heads up. So once you're all checked in, the baby has their ticket, you have your ticket, you're going to head towards security. And this is where, again, like I said, that wrap is going to be really helpful. And why I say less is more and why I only bring my diaper bag to the airport is because all I have to do is throw the diaper bag on the... Um, conveyor belt and it goes through the scanner and I don't have to even touch uh, carry anything else worry about anything else um, like I've said my diaper bag does fit my laptop so if I am bringing my laptop with me on this trip I will just pull it out put it in a bin and have it be on its way and that's all I have to do and I won't have to worry about that um, and then what you'll do is you will opt for um, just the walkthrough screening um, rather than the one where you have to put your hands up you won't do that you will just opt for the walkthrough screening with your child in the carrier um, this I think is really nice because you don't have to worry about anything and then you're still hands-free because they will have to test your hands they'll just put those swabs on your hands where they'll check if you have any explosives on your hands um, so after once you do that then you can just grab your diaper bag and put your shoes back on and keep on walking it's so nice um, that's what I prefer to do and typically that I will do for my when I go through security um, now if you bring your car seat and stroller through security just be aware that they will have to personally check that themselves just go up to one of the TSA members and just be like hey I need you to check this they'll take it they'll look at it and then you're done so really it's not a big deal to bring that but no matter what I always have my carrier with me to hold my baby in while I'm going through um, security 
So after security is my prep time. So I, this is my time to prep Zara for the flight. So I am still exclusively breastfeeding Zara. So she still nurses every two to more so three hours. And so when I get there, I like to just nurse her pretty much right away or at least a half an hour before my flight is boarding. This is why I like to make sure that I have plenty of time um, before I get to the airport. There's no reason or no need to have to rush with the baby. It's not worth it. I have done it. It only makes things stressful. And so, yeah, just get there early. And um, so I'm gonna go nurse her. Now, this is a great app that I discovered while at the Austin airport um, this previous time when I was going to be flying home to Ohio. Um, and it is a Mamava pod. I know, kind of weird, but they're awesome. If you are nursing and or pumping for your baby, these pods are the best. So basically, it's this little, I, literal, it's a literal pod. It's like this little room and you go in, there's these cute little benches and there's a little table and an outlet so you can either like plug in your pump or plug in your phone like I did and then you can nurse your baby. And this is where I will nurse Zara, get her ready for the flight or what I like to do is I will get her in her pajamas. I like to just get her really comfortable, cozy so that when we are on the flight, I hope that she just falls asleep. So um, that's what I will do there. So there is an app to find these pods or nursing stations wherever you are. Um, as you can see right here, there's a search bar where you can search a location of where you're going to be and see if there's some sort of nursing friendly room or pod that you can use or go in um, to nurse your child and get your baby ready for their flight so they this app is amazing so i like how you can see reviews of each station or pod it really gives a good description of what it looks like so you know what you're looking for and you're not just like kind of like wandering around looking for who knows what and typically there are going to be signs um for a nursing, nursing station, so look out for that. Once I have my daughter in her pajamas, she's all changed, she is fully fed and ready to go, I will get out her swaddle and I'll just organize my diaper bag yet again. I'll put the carrier away and I will get out the nursing cover. Um, I actually, I don't ever use this nursing cover besides for when I'm at the airport because I find these things a lifesaver and these are those like multi-use nursing covers that can be like a scarf a car seat cover or a cart cover whatever you want to use them for I like these for the airport for nursing because when I'm on the flight I typically will have to nurse my child and these things are so helpful I got this one from copper and pearl and I have another one from covered goods this one's my favorite I think the copper and pearl ones are like are kind of like extra soft so I recommend these and they have so many different cute patterns and stuff anyways I kind of like jumped forward a little bit so I will get this out at least put it on top of the inside of my diaper bag so that it's easily accessible so now this is when I will now head toward my gate and get ready to board next is boarding so the flights that I have flown with Zara and with other children have been United or Southwest um, I haven't flown any other ones. My sister-in-law just recently flew Delta, I believe, and she said that she had a great experience with them. So I know that with these flights, they have family boarding. Now, whether you're flying solo or you're with your husband or with other family members or whoever, friends, whatnot, I recommend um, boarding with family boarding if you do not have something before them because this is super nice whether or not you have family members with you it's nice to be able to get situated and make sure you get an aisle seat because if you have a child that ha that's in diapers you're gonna want this aisle seat so you can get up and down easily um, 
because in the plane in the bathrooms they have a changing station to be able to change your child also it gives you a little bit extra like arm room and leg room in a sense to be able to maneuver a little bit easier with your child on your lap so that's my advice for when you get on the plane and that's where the nursing cover comes in handy because it just gives you all around coverage because as much as this is just my personal opinion, but as much as you may be comfortable with just nursing in public, the guy next to you might not be because it's kind of, you're in close quarters and I just kind of feel bad. And so I like how covering this is and how there's, you can still see your baby, but you're really covered all the way around, not just in the front like a muslin swaddle would be. So that's why I like these. You're on your flight, you're getting ready to, and you're getting ready for takeoff. Next thing to prepare is, is for takeoff and for landings. So with us adults and older kids, we know how to pop our ears. Babies, infants, and young children don't know how to do that. So I have found the two best ways to help that is either one to nurse your baby while taking off or landing or if your baby is super squirmy like mine I have found that the best is to give her a binky so I don't know if you guys give your kids binkies I am a full believer in the binky and I find that that really helps to not only soothe my child but be able to help pop her ears while we are taking off and landing as well. So yeah, those are, I believe those are all of my tips for flying with an infant or child. I hope these um, help you guys out a lot for this upcoming holiday season and I hope that your experiences are a bit smoother. Just be Just be aware that flying with young children and infants is an overwhelming and challenging and emotionally draining experience, whether you're flying by yourself or you're flying with someone. I, When I was giving my advice to my sister-in-law of what to expect, truly, I was like, you know what? Just expect a lot of tears, not only from your baby, but also from yourself. I remember the first time I flew with Zara, it was such a, it was so overwhelming. I was, Zara was crying, I was crying, and it was, it was a long day. And that's kind of what you have to prepare for, is that it's just going to be a long day and things are going to get thrown off, but just do your best and know that there are going to be people around to help you. Um, I, You'll be surprised by how many people want to come up and just help you out, whether that means throwing your trash away or picking up a toy off the ground. Like People will help you. So keep an open mind, have a good attitude, be prepared, be organized. I cannot stress that enough. But yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy the products that I showed here today as well. And if you have any other questions or if you have any, uh, if you have any tips or advice um, for me that you think would help as well, leave those in the comments below. And what I can do is I can highlight your comment if I think it's like a really good tip that I didn't share so that other people can see them as well. So make sure that if you are a viewer or a subscriber, check those comments below because people give great advice in those like I really appreciate you guys um, commenting and liking my videos and yeah thank you so much for watching today and I hope to see you guys next time and I hope you guys have a great holiday season bye